guys, welcome back to another video. And uh, today it's officially my birthday, so uh, everybody start giving me expensive stuff now. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, today, uh, uh, we will be uh, looking at the Xbox 360 controller versus the PS3 6 axis slash DualShock 3 controller. Very long name, huh? Very specific, huh? So, first off, let's start off with the PS3 controller. And yes, I know the echo here is terrible, okay? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But, uh, here's the PS3 controller, as you can see. And, uh, it has this little uh, PlayStation button. And back uh, when they made the PS2, they didn't have the button. They only had, like, an analog switch um to turn off this functionality because they didn't know what they were anyways so now they know now they know of course um but yeah so uh first we're gonna be going on the topics of like for example like analog sticks d-pad whatever um so first off we're gonna start with the start button now, you're probably wondering, well, that's from Windows. It's also on controllers, too. As you can see, this is a very, very, and it kind of just bulges out, which you got to you gotta admit, that's actually pretty awesome back in, in the time. But, you know, that's uh, not really a thing anymore, is it? So, uh, yeah, here's the, uh, I was about to say PS3, yeah. Uh, here's the Xbox 360 controller. Um, so, yeah. And here's the PS3. So, let's first start off with the D-pad. What does it look like? Now, basically, it looks like this. And uh, there's the D-pad right there. And I personally love this D-pad because it's just so, so cool. And makes me want to use it more, actually. And sometimes I use it for games just a little bit, okay? And, uh, you know, the analog sticks, I don't, I don't really like him. I don't really like him at all. But uh, let's move on to the Xbox 360 D-pad. Now, a lot, if you are a hardcore gaming fan like me, uh, you are probably going to want to see a D-pad like this on a controller, like this. Which, uh, just look at the D-pad. It looks freaking terrible. It looks a uh, looks like a piece of crap, actually. Um, it it looks terrible. Look at this. Look at this. What is this? Okay. First off, I'm gonna do like a thumbnail pose, real quick. Just real quick. Okay, I think that's good. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Um, that's also kind of cringy, but that's the best I can come up with, okay? Um, but, so, uh, yeah. So, I actually cleaned these controllers for the sake of this video. And now there's, like, a bunch of dust on it from, like, the tissues I used. So, yay, wet tissue. Wet tissue. Don't use wet tissue. Use wipe. Uh, that's one thing. Let's move on to the analog sticks. Now, a lot more people, sometimes even PlayStation fans, like the feel of Xbox analog sticks. Now, as you can see, they're very, very good, and they're not actually, like, lined up with each other. And, you know, if you have small hands just like me, you're probably going to have problems with this. Hold on, let me just adjust this tripod real quick. There, that looks perfect. Okay, so... Now, you're probably going to want to see analog sticks. You don't want to see analog sticks like this, like actually lined up with each other, because honestly, that just that's a bad design for smaller hands, again, like me. And uh, if you have bigger hands, I mean, uh, smaller hands, you're definitely gonna stick, gonna wanna stick with the Xbox 360 controller. Now, if you're still a PlayStation fan and you wanna still pl play station, <laughs> you you still wanna play station, um, well, you're in luck. Because 
there's actually a way to connect your Xbox 360 controller with your PS3 controller. Hold on, let me just move this up. I know, guys, okay? I didn't really plan this out very well, did I? So, there we go. Okay, just like that. <clears throat> just like that. Okay, that's actually terrible. Okay, so what you're uh, gonna wanna do is that there's actually adapters to plug in your Xbox 360 controller uh, with your PS3. And if, let me just go get, let me go get the PS3 console. I'll be right back, guys, okay? See ya. got my PS3 console. Oh my god, this is heavy. Let me, let me just move things around here. Okay? Let's just... And then... I don't know, I'll just put this right here. And then we put the PS3 console right here. And as you can see, this is the PS3 Slim model. Which is my favorite one. So as you can see, this is the bad boy that broke in uh, one of my shorts. Uh, go check it out if you want to. You don't have to, but if just in case you want to, go ahead, guys. So, the PS3 console, as you can see, there are ports right here. And in one of those ports, you can plug in a Xbox 360 controller to PS3 adapter. And it'll work with the PS3, which is actually a pretty nice touch. Because... I definitely prefer the Xbox 360 controller now. I'm not sure if you can plug in your Xbox Series X or S controller, which that kind of sucks. I mean, that's that's one of the most modern controllers. And nobody wants to uh, uh, have a controller just like this. Uh, people want modern controllers, you know? But just... I, I don't know why people would do that, but if you want to do that, you don't have to, because honestly, one, it's a waste of time and a waste of money, because they're like 40 bucks, I think, but I think they're on Amazon, so I might get one, maybe, <laughs> maybe, I'm not sure my parents are okay with it, though, but yeah, pretty cool, so, um, let's move on to... The, uh, these buttons, the actual buttons that are the main buttons. Um, as you can see, these are the A and B buttons. Now, uh, let's just compare them. These buttons are more close together. These are more further apart. And the winner is, for the controller, is the Xbox 360 controller. Good job. All right, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on notifications, share with your friend, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Bye.